This is the updated set it and forget it uh, microgreens. So real simple, growing tray, that's the link in below. Same growing tray, fill it up to a certain point with water. I fill a, uh, I don't know, it's about a liter, I think, with water, just tap water. I used to put in clean kelp. You can put that in there if you want. I used to put in Epsom salts. You don't need to. There's a new version here, real simple. Uh, I've tried this a bunch of different ways. The H2O2, the uh, hydrogen peroxide, does not help it from becoming fungal. So that's kind of a big deal. So I'm gonna put, drop this in here real quick. And what I have here is the paper towels that go up and across, and then a bamboo paper towel, just one single one, instead of doing bamboo all the way across because that's more expensive, I have just regular paper towels to wick the water up from the bottom. They are on the sides here. And that will draw the water up and over uh, using rainbow heirloom seeds. This is the sulforaphane mix. Uh, I, have a, I have those seeds in here. I'll just go ahead and sprinkle those on. Now that you saw it get wet when I pushed it down in there. So now the seeds will stick wherever I put them. So I'll sprinkle them out, just spread them out. If you can, try to spread them out evenly because when they clump up, they have a tendency to get a bit moldy. Sorry for the camera work here. But I found that if you do too few seeds, they don't grow up very well at all. They, they need each other to kind of support each other as they grow thick like a forest. So too many is too much, too few is too little. So about, about right, like that. And this spray is an antifungal spray I'm using. And I'll give you the, uh, it's basically, I think it's got oregano oil, a little bit of dish soap, just a touch in there, and something else. I think I have I think it's baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. So spraying this on here, get a good douse. That will start them soaking and that will get them to sprout. And then uh, I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna be on a trip for three days and then uncover it when I get back and it should. Just got back after three days from the trip. Let's see how they did. Oh, they're looking good. They're all sprouting, no fungus, no mold, no nothing. And then you'll see little white root hairs. I've got another thing to show you that. On this other one, this is just a different mix. Little white things, that's not mold. Those are roots starting to grow and find their way into that uh, bamboo. And then they'll root in there and grow big and tall. I have had people ask me, this is just an arrow garden bounty. You don't need an arrow garden for this. I just happened to get it. And I was like, well, people kept saying, hey, just use it for growing other stuff around it. So I thought I'd do my microgreen experiment. It's going really well. This stuff tastes so good, especially making slaw out of it. I'll put a recipe for a mustard slaw that's uh, excellent. It's apple cider mustard slaw. Anyway, all you need is a growing light, something that you can hook up top and put off on a timer to get about 12 hours of light. So it's a lot cheaper than an arrow garden. There's also an arrow garden on Amazon that's way cheaper than the... Uh, the actual Aero Garden, it's not Aero Garden brand, but it, it works, it just puts a, it has a light. That's all you need. Here we go. Harvest time. I'm gonna bring this with me on a trip. So literally, all I'll do is pull it up from here. I can take these off, but uh, this is gonna be hard to do one-handed. Just pull this whole thing up and throw this into a bag to go with me, roots and all. And on the road, I'll just pull these out and make a salad out Here of them. Go. It's pulled up. That's the uh, travel salad, and just rip these out as we need. 